Hello and welcome to part 10 of this chess rating run on chess.com uh, where I will be playing uh, at least two games of 15 minutes with a 10 second increment. And so let's jump in here and find an opponent. All right, so searching for an opponent. And I have white, and here we go. Okay, so I've moved to D4 uh, to play a little safer, more positional games. Um, they play d5, so we're symmetrical so far in the center. I move my knight out to f3 to help protect this pawn. And we'll see what they do. So they move e6 to back up their pawn in the center. All right, I am going to go with e3. And, okay, so they attack here. What should we do? Um, I'll move here to help back up the center and see what they do next. Okay, so they capture. I'm going to capture with my central pawn, which will leave this e-file open for me and prevent any threats down here with a bishop or a queen checking my king. So I'll go here with bishop to d3 and... We'll see what happens next here. And I will be moving my knight here on the B square to uh, D2 to help guard this E4 square and back up this knight here. And let's see what they have planned next. And I probably should castle here. Um, they could put... Okay, so he goes here to prevent any checks. Alright. I, mean, I could check anyway with my queen, but he could just block. So I'm going to go ahead and castle. And then I'll put this rook on this half-open file here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Line up on his king. And he'll probably move his bishop out and get ready to castle. Oh, he he does not. All right. Do I worry about this push here? Should I worry about that at all? Um, hmm. Well, I could stop play by pushing forward. I'll go ahead and do that. And I could probably move this knight up here. Hmm. But first, I will develop this knight. Okay, so do I jump into that position up there immediately? Hmm. All right, I will just jump in there. Maybe he'll exchange his good bishop for that knight. And that may be worth the time that it would take if I capture with my rook and he chases my rook away. Or should I just capture with this pawn chasing his knight away? That is an option. Hmm. That is an option. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Maybe I'll do that. I'll chase his knight away. Uh, 
and that'll keep his center cramped up um, although he may try and move this bishop to b7 and attack from that side and kind of get on this diagonal and eye my king side from the distance over here after he pushes this pawn forward okay so he's trying to decide what to do maybe that move surprised him um, but I imagine he would just move his knight back um, if he comes forward we can just capture and win a pawn out of it okay well okay so he retreats back we can Hmm, do we push this pawn up here or do we just guard with the knight? I think we'll guard with the knight. If he brings another piece up, like his other knight here to attack, so both knights are attacking, then we can just protect with the bishop. Uh, although he could start pushing forward but we do have this rook protecting as well um, so let's see what he does here what will he do all right what's the time looking like this added time does help so i'm ahead here with 1436 to his 13 minutes he just went under 13 okay what what does he have here hmm. okay so he does attack and then that does weaken his king side there so I will just retreat And if he threatens to go after, uh, you know, block my, trap my bishop by pushing this pawn forward, I can just go here and leave an escape hole for my bishop on h2. Alright. Okay, so he's attacking there. Okay, what to do here? What to do? Huh. Do I just capture there? That seems like the obvious move. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just capture there. Okay, now, now what would be best here? Okay. All right, so his queen is now in the game. I'm going to have to watch out for this right here. You know, his this battery of the queen, rook and queen aimed at this f pawn. Okay, so what would be best here? What would be best? Okay. Hmm. 
All right. Well, if I jump a piece up there, and it's only protected by two, he would capture, I would capture, he would capture, I would not come out ahead in that. So, do I threaten to check him? Does that do anything? Not really. Hmm. All right, all right. Well, okay. Well, I guess I'll go here. Instead of burning up so much time now, I'm the one behind on time. Okay. I'll leave a little escape hole there for my pieces. He's probably going to push forward and threaten to fork my pieces here by pushing this pawn. Hmm. Maybe better would have been to move my queen up. Okay, so he wants to reposition like that. All right. Well, now we can jump in there. Hmm, that may have helped me. We can jump in there to that hole now. And just see what he does next. All right, so we have a capture. I have to capture with this rook. Otherwise, he'll capture here. So we can do that. Okay, so he attacks. Now, I have to retreat, but what is the best option to retreat that rook that is under attack? Um, are there any tactics here? Hmm. Hmm. Right. Well, I guess I should just come down here to guard that. Guard that F pawn. And that'll help guard this in case his knight, I don't know, tries to jump into there. And I don't, I don't know. If his knight tries to attack this at some point, let's see. What could he do? Yeah, attack there. Okay, what do, do we have here? Hmm. Alright, do I ignore this? And move here. All right, 
Let's pin his knight to his rook. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, I could just come out a pawn ahead here or more. So, okay. So, before I make this move, let me take a quick look at everything. So, I think that was a mistake. He maybe he should have moved on the other side, but. You know, he's pinned here. So do I capture the knight? He captures. Then I could capture with the queen. Let's see. If he captures, then I could capture here. All right. I think that works. Let's double check everything. So... In this position, it looks like I could just capture that knight. Then if he captures, I capture with the queen. And then I'm threatening this. If... Hmm. But then we have opposite colored bishops. So let's see. Do I want that or not? Do I just capture this pawn now? All right. We'll just do that. Do that. So now he has the this isolated pawn uh, here in the center, which will be a weakness. And so, but I don't know if, if he captures, then I'll have an isolated pawn. I don't know. I'll be attacking this one, but if that pawn is there, I can bring my bishop up here. So that'll work. Um, all right. And I have to watch my time. So he's counting down close to the amount of time that I have. Okay, so he does capture there. So I have to recapture. Now I'm attacking his pawn, which he can protect with... with a push or sorry with moving his bishop up here to d5 he can protect that pawn let's see i could jump in and do the same thing hmm okay so he does that i could try and take this I think I will try and control this open file here. Okay, so he does that. And then now I can... and control that hmm
All right, so he does that. Let's go there. do we have available now? Okay. Okay, so we we do have six pawns to his five, but it's opposite colored bishops. So now what should I do here? He's attempting to pile up there. Let's see. I could just do that to try and stop any counterplay there. Okay, he wants to try and break through there. I will move here to help cover that. And I could chase his bishop away. Now, one question is, do I want to push forward here with b4? Okay, I think I will... Do I push his bishop out of the way first? Does that accomplish anything? Uh, I'll just do that. Prevent him from moving forward there. Okay, so he does that. Hmm. Okay. Well. What would be best? What would be best here? Hmm. Hmm. So one thought is to sacrifice here he captures i capture get a bishop and a pawn and have a have this extra pawn on the queen side but would that be able to do anything all right let's move our king up into the center here
Okay, so now what? Now what? Is there any way to make progress here? Any way to make progress? If I go there. What does that do? Anything? Anything at all? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm running out of ideas here because this opposite colored bishops Many times that can lead to draws. Okay, so. All right, well. a good plan let's see if I go if I push that and he goes there no I think there's no headway over there I'm have to send this king back over to the king side So here, if I push forward, uh, he could threaten to double up there. If I go there, then he has a threat of coming down into the position there. So I'm trying to decide whether to push that F pawn up to F4. If I go there and he captures, I can capture. Hmm. He will threaten to come down in there. All right, let's push it forward. possibly threatening to push over there so now what would be best to do here 
If he pushes, do we move our... I think we'll be good there. is best what is best go there just wait and see what he does next okay so he pushes forward we will capture okay and now, let us see here, let us see. Okay, okay. Hmm, hmm. Well, that is protected. It can't move forward because then the bishop will be captured. interesting game. Oh, I better watch my time. Okay. So he goes there. I will capture. And then I can go there. Capturing this pawn. Yeah, I think we got it. He made a mistake there. So now he's in trouble. Now he's in trouble. Okay. So we can capture that pawn next, putting him in check. Yeah, we should have this game now. Um, okay, so he's doing that. Do we go after his bishop here? If we take his bishop and he pushes forward, what can we do about that? Uh, why do that? Why don't we just attack his bishop and his rook at the same time and get rid of that pawn. And so now he's really in trouble. Yeah, he resigned. All right. Okay, we'll do a quick game review and see what all we did wrong, what we could have done better. And it's calculating, evaluating. Mm. It's taking a little while to... Uh, analyze this one. Not sure why it's taking so long here. 
Maybe the internet is slow right now. All right. Hmm. Uh, sorry about this, everybody. I'm not sure why it's taking so long to analyze here. Hmm. Well... I've never had it take this long to do the uh, analyzing of the game afterwards here. So either the internet is slow uh, or chess.com is having some issue here. Hmm. And it's still trying to calculate. All right, well, if this continues, I may just have to get out of the game review and skip it. All right, I don't think it is working here today, guys. Huh. All right, I guess I'll skip this game review since the chess.com analysis it, it's having difficulties here. So we'll skip the game review. That's interesting. I haven't had that happen before. give it another second here if it doesn't work all right I guess we'll have to skip that um, well I got out of it I'll try and hit it one more time and see if it does anything if I try that again oh, okay there this time it just popped right in okay so for the game review it looks like I had 82.4 accuracy to their 78.1 um, no brilliant or great moves in this one it says intense nice win you were never in trouble okay and so in the opening um, after exchanges okay it says that this move was not correct here bishop to g3 is a miss you missed a really nice but hard to find move. You only had one good option there and you ignored an opportunity to win material. Hmm. Okay. How could I have won material here? Hmm. All right, I'm checking this out. Hmm. All right, I'm not sure what the better move would have been instead of retreating this bishop that was under attack. Um, maybe you all are seeing something that I'm missing here. Well, let's see what best move was. Capturing here. Hmm. Oh, okay, it opens up the position, and then I could have a threat of moving here with the queen, threatening a mate there, which well, I guess they could block. So if they capture, they could just block. Let's look at the moves on that one. So if they do that, 
Well, that's a crazy sequence there. Hmm. Yeah, no wonder I missed that one. <laughs> All right, let's move on further. So that was an inaccuracy. Maybe the bishop would have been better to would it have been better to attack with the bishop immediately. Uh, that would be a mistake. So anyway, let's see what the best move was to retreat here. Hmm. And maybe threaten to jump up here and attack the queen. All right. Okay. Here, this was an inaccuracy. Best would have been... Ah, I considered that move, but did not make it. Okay. And that was a miss. So instead of capturing there... Should I have captured with the pawn instead and then brought the bishop up here? Let's see. So perhaps I should have done that. Okay, so this was best to do that immediately and then move there. Okay. Keep the queens on the board with his open king. Yeah, that, that makes sense. All right. So b4 is a miss instead i should should i have chased him away here maybe with this hmm so that was the better move there b3 is best kick the opposing bishop this was a game changing move giving white a winning position hmm. so his only option was to back up to here interesting but then how do you follow that up? So he would move back and then I go there. Hmm. All right. Well. That was an inaccuracy. So best would have been to push over here. Breaking these pawns. But attacking his defender of the bishop okay and so that was the best move next all right so summary i had a pretty competitive game i took the advantage of the opportunities i saw in the opening both of you navigated the middle game well your end game precision was a cut above your opponents so 1500 to 1400 all right well let us we'll play one more game for the day get out of this window and a new game and here we go waiting all right i have white again so let's move the d pawn out play safe uh here we'll We'll just try and set up that Kali position again. And wait and see what black does here. Okay, let's force that bishop to retreat. And then, hmm, what do we do next here? Uh, we'll just develop this other knight. bishop out next aim at the king side get ready to castle and let's see what will he try here and if I attack here attack his bishop force it to b6 and then attack with the knight I could get his bishop, but I don't know. I think I need to just castle first. Uh, 
Okay, so here I should push forward with this pawn, I think. Gain more space in the center. And that way, if he pushes, I can push forward and be protected by this pawn on e4. Okay, what will he do here? If he pushes his D pawn to D5, I could just push my pawn forward. And here I could grab space in the center. Let's see. Or do I attack his bishop and then attack his knight? That is a possibility, and then I could capture that pawn in the center. Okay, or if we do this, if we go there immediately, driving that knight back, then we can attack the bishop with the knight and this pawn at the same time. Now we can attack the bishop, which is unprotected, and then we can scoop up that pawn. Interesting, interesting. Okay, do we attack that knight and just ram this pawn up into his position? I think that would work. Um, or do we jump our knight up in here attacking his rook? That may work as well. Interesting. We really have him in a cramped position. All right. So here's our dilemma. Do we push that pawn forward or do we put our knight up in there attacking his rook? And then we could have both knights lined up on this and then potentially get a bishop in there as well hmm all right this position just got kind of tricky here okay do we attack his knight the knight will be able to go and reinforce from here Hmm, this is tricky. All right, all right. Should we attack? Let's see. All right, we're running out of time. So let's attack his rook first.
we attack his rook and then now we can capture here So we'll go ahead and do that. Try and get up and into his position. Okay, so he he piles up there. And then we could exchange over here. Uh, I don't know. Generally, you don't want to exchange off uh, two pieces for a rook and pawn. So, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. What is our time looking at? So his clock's ticking down under 12 minutes here in a few seconds. I'm at 11.43. So he's probably trying to decide whether to capture with the bishop or with his rook. Okay, now his queen can be captured. Okay. Well, I guess he missed that. So he'll probably resign after that oversight. Unless he decides to play it out a little bit. Let's see here. Okay, I guess he wants to play a little further. Okay, um, well, do I just guard this pawn? Because if he captures, I can recapture. I think we'll do that. my bishop up to his king side so what will he do next all right 
Hey, I'm surprised he hasn't resigned already. So what I'm going to do next is try and go up here and attack his knight with my bishop. I think that'll work. So if we do that. We'll just start trading pieces off now that we're ahead in material. So do I fight here? Attacking him. Or do I jump up here? Go after one of the knights. I think I'll do that. Hmm. Uh, I'll try and exchange off here. If he captures, it would just open my rook up and help me in the position. And it keeps this bishop from eyeing my king on that diagonal. And if he moves forward, then, or I mean, excuse me, if he retreats back to here, I could push this pawn attacking him. All right. Okay, so he captures and that helps me to open my rook up here. And if he moves forward to attack here, what would be best? Oh, he can't, sorry, he can't move forward. My queen would just capture him. So maybe he pushes this pawn forward. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I should just push my pawns forward. We'll just go ahead and do that. Just push forward. Okay. And then if he threatens, all right, well, I could move here to keep him out of the position. So let us see, let us see here. Keep that out. He could try and jump into there. All right, we'll do that to try and keep that one knight from coming down. Okay, so he goes there, which I don't mind. And what are his options here? What are his options? All right, well, hmm, hmm. What are the options in this position? Develop my queen into a better spot here. block him in. Let's try that. All 
Okay, so he's going to try and come in from that angle. So we will play here. He attacks there. We will just double up by going here. And so our goal here is to just trade down material and keep some pawns on the board that we can use that extra queen to run up and promote at the same time trying to pick his pawns off okay so i can go here he's going to get that pawn but now let's see what we can do here We can just go here. Control the center with your queen. So the queen is always more powerful in the center. Try to dominate the center there. All right. What will he play next? Okay, so he tries to put pressure on that. We could capture here and then go after this. So, yeah, that looks good. Capture. And he'll just start running out of material here.
all right uh, sorry for getting lost in thought there um, all right so here it looks like I can check him and once this king moves I can activate my other rook So check, I can swing this other rook over and cause some problems here. All right, and now I can jump down this diagonal and threaten to trap him. All right, and we should be able to get him now because we can force a trade off of the rooks here. So just check and make sure there's nothing better here all right um, if we check him there I will just go there and now we can take this other rook He's slowly running out of material to use after I trade one of his rooks. And now we can jump up to here and help push forward one of these pawns. So if you have a pawn majority, especially here on the queen side, you want to push this unopposed pawn forward in general. That's the, the way to move forward. So let's see here. Um, how should we try this? He's going to try and swing down all right let's just do that keep an eye on his pawns we can push this pawn up guard this one attack this one and prepare to push this one forward And he's slowly running out of options here. Okay, so he's going to threaten to check me there. Alright, if he checks me, I can just jump into this hole here. Do we push forward immediately? Well, let's just stop his any movement by his pawn. And then we can push our C pawn. And in the end, we'll have a passed pawn there on the queen side. really running out of 
moves here. He'll probably resign, sh excuse me, shortly. Okay, so now we can pick this off. Now we're aimed at this pawn. And why would he just give me his rook? So he resigns. All right. Well, uh, we'll do a quick game review. And after the game review, that'll be it for today. So maybe you'll stick around and watch the game review. It looks like 84.5 to 71.8. Oh, I had one brilliant move and a great move. So uh, we'll see what those were. Intense, nice win. You were never in trouble. Start the review. Okay. Excuse me. So E3 was an inaccuracy. So best would have been to just push forward. Yeah, which, yeah, that was probably a better move to just take control of the center by pushing up to E4. And if he pushed forward, I could chase his knight by pushing to E5. Okay, so castling was an inaccuracy. And so best was once again pushing that pawn forward. Okay, and then this was an inaccuracy. Best, instead of moving that knight, was to gain space here on the queen side. Oh, I see. So now if I attack and he retreats, his bishop would be trapped after this b4 pawn move. Okay. And then here, I don't know, the game got crazy. Um, he gave up his queen, and he probably should have resigned after that, because after that, you just trade down pieces. All right, so the brilliant move was just capturing the knight, and then the queen picking off this uh, bishop here, which I don't know if I would call that a brilliant move, but... Okay, so he captures, and then, I don't know, after this, it was just a matter of using my remaining rook and trading off one of his rooks, and then my queen would just take over. Alright, so, in the opening, I only had 74.8 to their, eight, oh, they had 54.8, we both, well, he had trouble in the open. Middle game, 87 to 85.1 and 89.9 to 77 all right well um i hope you, if you guys are still hanging around and girls i hope you enjoyed this and uh i'll continue this series of the rating run of rapid games i'm also doing blitz games as well in another series and uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave comments or suggestions. Thank you and have a great day, everyone.